G'day, today we're working on the Kenwood R1000 communications receiver. This particular model has a problem with its RF attenuator coupling and uh, we're removing it today to replace it with something a little more durable and hopefully lasts a few many years yet. Removing is easy enough, just Allen keys and basic household tools. The shaft itself resides on a brass bushet screwed into the front of the radio. This is the coupling I'm going to use. It's from a remote controlled car that uh, supports 6mm shafts but only has two Allen key securing nuts, bolts, screws. Um, but it'll be adequate for our needs to stick the radio. Also, that it's um, the replacement part is smaller than the original nylon coupling so plenty of room for it not a problem unlike some of the other couplings that uh, are available just doing a dry run now just trying to work out how many millimeters I've got to shave off the end of it because uh, it's going to be just a fraction too long The bush is held in place by two circ clips, one in front and one behind. And the plan of attack for this particular job is to um, remove the rear circ clip so we can extract the shaft through the front of the radio, which will make fitting the coupling the darn side easier. Just mark how long we need the part to be trim it down. place in the front circuit clip which is a lot easier than taking them out and uh, while we're at it we'll probably add a little bit of um, tap or faucet repairing that, um, lubricant just to uh, help reduce any wear in the in the bush assembly help it operate a little bit more smoothly here we go, putting it back into the front of the radio. The brass bushing just goes through the, the pressed steel panel and is held in place by a retaining nut. Now we push back on the shaft and into the coupling, which will require now a little bit of tweaking of the coupling retention Allen screw just making sure everything is nice and tight and checking for free trouble free I should say movement on the coupling along with further adjustment. Now we're returning the rear circuit for the behind the bush to hold it in place so the shaft doesn't slide unwantedly out the front of the radio. And rechecking for movement and tension on the coupling. We've used a, um, a universal joint out of a remote control car to replace the crappy old plastic coupling. It's actually smaller than the original part, which I already had patched once. But um, it's nylon. You can only patch this stuff so many times. 